This week on Taylor's Travels, I take Somerset out for a sail with one of my really great friends. You might even recognize her from my early videos when we co-owned the boat together. Hey, I'm Taylor. I've been leading an alternative lifestyle for the last two years. From living in a van to living on a sailboat. With my guitar by my side along the way. Subscribe to follow me along this wild adventure that I call life. Usually the first thing that I do when I arrive at the marina is throw the cover over my pop-up gazebo for some shade and tend to my plants. I had previously begun the work of stripping and re-varnishing my companionway hatchboards. So this morning I worked on getting the second coat finished. And yeah, I used a red solo cup and an old Tostitos jar to mix my varnish in, but who really cares? Hi guys, today we are back at the Bayfield Oasis and we're back at Somerset and we're gonna be taking her out for a sail today, but I've got a special, special buddy joining me and you might recognize her from one of my very first videos, my early, early Somerset sailing videos. It's Cass. Hello. <laughs> well, it's really good to have her back. She, so like I said, she sailed with me at the very beginning. We bought Somerset together. She's still my very best buddy and my best sailmate. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm excited to come back on the water. It's been a whole year. Yeah, you haven't, yeah, she hasn't been sailing with me since last year. So let's get it. Well, we've got the engine running and warming up. I've just got to disconnect the power and then we're ready to hit the high lake, high seas. <laughs> okay, time to get them lines undid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, girl, get it. All right, well, I'm steering us out of here, and I've got the wonderful first mate Cass taking off the sail cover for me. Cass? Well, um, big props to all you solo sailors out there. It really makes a difference having like a helping hand. So, mad respect for you guys. Coming out of the marina, the conditions were looking perfect for us to have a great sail.
although maybe a little bit bumpy for my small boat. How you doing so far, girlfriend? Loving it. Loving it. One thing that's really nice about day sailing, as opposed to full-time traveling on a sailboat, is I find myself more in the moment, instead of constantly worrying about the destination. I'm much more in tune with my little boat, having to hand steer and getting to play around with the wind in the sails and going any direction I please. Even the smell of the lake air is much different than that of the oceans. It brings me back to old memories and makes me appreciate this freshwater paradise. Oh my goodness. It is not easy being down here at all. But we are officially sailing, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Well, buddy, how does it feel to be sailing again? Feels good. No seasickness yet. That's good. <laughs> and she's at the helm. She's doing a great job. She's a good teacher. Aw. <laughs> so, as you may have noticed, um, this boat is a little bit lacking in, like, instrumentation. As in, my depth meter doesn't work. So, basically, I just use Navionics on my phone. And so, it can show us our track, show us the depth. You can plot a route. And, uh, and it shows you how fast you're going. So we're going three and a half knots right now. We're doing pretty good. So my plan is to take down the main and then put up the head sail with just the head sail so that if we are feeling overpowered or anything, we can gauge it from there first. And if we're feeling good, then we can put up the main after the head sail's already out. Well, I rigged up the Genoa. We're gonna try and raise it. See how it goes.
Well, that's cool. What do you think? Well, we got the Genoa up. Probably don't have it trimmed quite exactly right. I'm still kind of figuring it out, but it's set nonetheless. Sailing with one of my best buds again made it feel like no time had even passed. After a nice full day out on the water, once we were close to the marina, we took down the sails and motored in. This video is made possible by my patrons. Thank you very much. And also a big thank you to everyone who has contributed through my new Amazon wishlist. You have a direct impact on the growth and quality of my channel. Oh, moment of truth, Lord God. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it. In order to get those cool drone shots, it can be a little risky, and catching it is often the hardest part, especially on a very small boat. Thanks to Cass for being so patient with me during the struggle. I don't know if this footage makes you as anxious as it makes me, but it gives you an idea of how difficult it was to get back in the boat. After a very stressful 10 minutes and almost 0% battery life, we did manage to get it back in the boat without drowning it. <laughs>